Hello and welcome back to Learning Final Cut Pro here at UschoolMe. In this lesson we're going to look at active windows and window properties. So I'm going to launch Final Cut Pro and first thing we're going to look at is active windows. You can see here that the browser is currently the active window because all the others are much darker grey. You can only have one active window at a time so if I click in the timeline you can see that this is now my active window. Now what this means is only um, you can only apply shortcut keys to the timeline if it's the active window. If I have the browser selected and I press I to set an endpoint, of course it doesn't do that. I actually have to select the timeline to do that or the viewer to set an endpoint there. So certain shortcut keys will only work on um, certain windows. So make sure you always have the correct window active. And secondly, we're going to look at window properties. Now, um, Final Cut Pro's window properties are the same as any other OS X window, except they're not colored red, yellow, green, but they still do the same thing. The first on the left will close a window, this will minimize a window, and this will zoom it. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, select the viewer as my active window, and I'm going to close it. Now, a lot of people close that by mistake and they're not sure how to get it back. To get that back, all you need to do is go to the window menu and choose Viewer. Shortcut key is Command 1. I might do the same with the Timeline, close that. And to get that back, I just go Timeline, Command 3. Minimize, we all know what that does. It will minimize a window to your dock and to get it back, you simply click it in the dock and it will pop right back. Now, if we click on Zoom, what this will do is zoom your window out to fit as much information as possible. So I can drag this down. Um, if I click Zoom again, you can see that it just goes back to its default zoom. Now, what this um, is good for is suddenly we can see a lot more information without having to scroll as much, but we either have to click drag it to get it back into the same position, and you'll notice it will snap back there, or the easiest way is to go Window, Arrange, Standard. Shortcut key is Control U, and that will put it back to its default setting. So that was it. Active Windows, click to make the window active, and close, minimize, and zoom. Hope that was useful, and we'll be back with more podcasts soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.